Hey, how's it going? Spencer here. Today, I'm gonna talk about the best Blu-ray player that you can buy anywhere. And you can get this thing without spending hundreds of dollars. It is refurbished. You can't buy them new anymore because they are discontinued. But this machine is way better than anything that you'll buy new these days. The newer ones that you buy are cheap plastic. This one is pretty heavy. It's got a good amount of weight to it. But this thing is really great because it offers all the features that you need and it's not something dinky that's gonna break down after two, three, or four months. And there are two things that make this the best one. One, it's gonna last forever. These things are built like a beast. They're, they're really awesome machines. They weren't meant to die like the ones that are made these days. And two, it's not too basic, but it still is basic enough to where you don't need a you don't need to have some sort of degree to operate. So it is basic, but it doesn't offer any restrictions like a lot of the ones do these days. The newer ones only have one output on the back and it's for HDMI. This one has a bunch of different options if you ever needed them. It's gonna be more compatible with surround sound if you wanted to use it like that. Let's go ahead and take a look at it just so you know how it works. On the rear panel of it, you've got your component video output that is only going to be for a video signal. If you're going to use that, you're going to need to use analog audio with it. Same goes for composite video and S video. And the ones that you're most likely to use and only use are the HDMI output and LAN which even LAN you may not use. LAN is going to be for your internet connection and then HDMI is your audio and video connection. That's gonna be the best option on there. Then you've also got optical and coaxial digital audio output. Those are usually for connecting it to a sound system. And then you've got your EXT or external connection. That's gonna be for connecting a flash drive and usually that's for connecting to bonus view or BD Live, which allows you to access more features on your Blu-ray discs. And then you've got your power cord connection right there because it does feature a detachable cord. On the front of it, there isn't too much going on. You've just got a power button, eject button, play, pause, and stop. The remote offers a nice and easy to operate design. Something really cool and unique about this remote is this light feature which allows you to press that and when you do a bunch of regularly used buttons will light up so that you can use this in the dark. Let's go ahead and connect it to the TV just so that I can show you how it works. All that we need to do is plug in the HDMI cable to the HDMI out on the back of the Blu-ray player and then connect the other end of that cable to the TV. Then change the TV to the correct input and put in your Blu-ray disc.
That's all the basics for the best Blu-ray player you can buy, and I'm not just saying that, I really mean that. This is a really awesome one, and I would recommend getting this one over anything that you can buy brand new. It also isn't too expensive. Some Blu-ray players you could pay hundreds of dollars for, or even thousands. So this one is really a good option. If you're looking to order one of these, make sure you get it from us at spendcertified.com and you can call to order or order online. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.